Joe, what was trade deadline day like for you? Uh, it was good. Um, you know, we, we did the trade earlier uh, last week for, for James Robinson and um, felt like that was a great opportunity to, to, add, a, to add a back to a, a, a really good back and a really good person to our locker room uh, today. Um, tougher decision um, to uh, trade Jacob Martin uh, to the Broncos. Um, ultimately, is a, is a move we felt um, gave us a little bit more flexibility in the future and also opened up some, uh, some play time. We feel like we have great, great depth in our DN room, and so um, opens up some play time for some of our other DNs. How quickly did you have to move to get Robinson after Brees Hall went down with the injury in Denver? I think once we found out that, that uh, Brees was out for the year, um, just canvassed the league to see, see what players were available. Um, then, then when we found out uh, you know, who those lists of guys were, we wanted to act quickly uh, and just make sure we, we got our kind, of, our kind of back, our kind of person, our kind of player in the building uh, as quick as possible. Why is he your kind of back? Well, first of all, he's, a, he's an unbelievable person. Um, tough, hard-nosed, no, no nonsense, um, great teammate. And then he kind of carries that, that character into his play style, um, just a, a downhill back, um, great balance, great, great, great play strength, uh, can catch the ball out of the backfield. So he does a lot of things that we value from the, for the position. Does the Martin deal speak to the numbers and the talent that you guys have at the defensive end position? Yeah, I think it does. I feel like, like I said before, we have unbelievable, unbelievable depth on the defense, especially in that DN room. And, um, our coaches have done such a great job uh, of, of, of working with these guys, developing these young players. Did you take any calls from teams about Elijah Moore and or Denzel Mims? Yeah, you know, we had some, we had some calls uh, leading up to the deadline. But, but like Robert said, you know, uh, those guys are Jets and, and they're not going anywhere. Back at the league meetings, you said the expectation is we're going to be playing meaningful football in December. Here you are. As November starts at five and three, what do you think? Look, I mean, we're five and three. We uh, we put ourselves in position where each game becomes a little bit more important, and uh, obviously not happy with the outcome last week against New England. But we've got an opportunity to get back on track. And so, look, we we there's a lot of football ahead, a lot of games to be played. You know, the focus is on Buffalo. Uh, we know the challenge that that's going to bring. Uh, have a ton of respect for that organization, uh, that team. And so we, we know we're, we're going to have to be on our A game and play our best ball. But, you know, we're, we're, we're focused on the task at hand. And, and uh, this week, that's, that's Buffalo. What do you like most about this team right now? I love the camaraderie. Um, love the energy. And, and that starts from the top right with Coach Sala. Love the day in, day out energy, enthusiasm, passion. And you can see the guys come together. You know, whenever there's a big play, you see the entire unit coming together and celebrating together. You can see that that chemistry, that camaraderie, everything you saw developing through OTAs and, and training camp, you're really seeing seeing it manifest here in the regular season. And uh, it, it's good to see these guys come together and, and play for each other. How much do you like that blend in the locker room? That's something you talked about in the offseason. The veterans, the grizzled vets, and also the rookies who are just starting out on their NFL career. Yeah, no, that's a that's a really that's a really cool aspect of our team, and and I know I talked a little bit about it back in training camp, but uh, to see the guys like Dwayne Brown and and Sauce Gardner kind of come together, and you know you see you see them in the team meeting and they're having fun and you know talking a little uh, you know talk, talking a little crap to each other. It's fun to see, but. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a good mix, and, and we've got, we've got a, a great group of veterans that do things the right way and kind of show, show these young, young players the, the right path of, of how to act like a pro, how to be a pro. And, uh, again, credit, credit to the players, credit to the coaches uh, for, for getting this culture to a good place. You signed DJ Reed for a good reason, but has he exceeded your expectations at all on the outside? I mean, DJ's a baller. Um, uh, that, that plays with great confidence, great ball skills from the jump. He's just, uh, he's come in with, with outstanding confidence and you can see that, that confidence go through our defense. And, you know, we have, we have a cornerback group, a DB group. Uh, look, there's a lot of swag. There's a lot, they believe, they believe in themselves and they believe in each other. And, and it's really, it's really permeated across the defense, across the team. And so, uh, you know, DJ has been, 
been a fantastic addition, and we we feel very fortunate to have the outside corner duo we have, along with Michael Carter as a nickel back. We we have we have a really good DB group. What about on the other side of the ball? What can you say about Tyler Conklin's production and how important he will be for this team down the stretch? You know, Ty Tyler's been ultra consistent and. When you talk about pros, pros, when you talk about guys that do things the right way, I think you, you don't have to look any further than our tight end room and two guys, really, Tyler and C.J. Uzioma. Uh, those are two guys that, that from day one, the minute they come in the building, they do things the right way. They work hard. They know the playbook. Um, they're just great veterans to, to mentor and lead, lead young, young guys, young players. You said before the draft that you think you have an opportunity to land something special. Now that you've seen these guys in action, what do you think about the 2022 Jets draft class? I mean, obviously a lot to be excited about. Uh, there's, there's a lot of athleticism, a lot of enthusiasm, uh, a lot of exciting dynamic uh, play. So um, again, these, these, are, these are young guys, they, they love ball and it's been fun watching them kind of figure this thing out since they came in April and to watch them ascend and uh, kind of do their thing and, and kind of let their personality show uh, on the field. Uh, it, it's cool, it's, 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 it's really good to see. And, and obviously there's a, there's a lot of improvement to be made and, and uh, they're attacking it every day, but um, feel really good about this group. You mentioned Sauce before, the swagger that he brings to the table right now, he's tied for the league lead in terms of PDs. Um, what can you say about his development and also the way he's fit inside the locker room because guys talk about his confidence but they also say that hey he brings that bravado that swag but he's a guy that you gravitate towards yeah I mean so I think when you talk about the confidence like his confidence is genuine um, it's not it's not there's not a fake toughness fake confidence element to him and I think the when guys talk about gravitating they talk about his charisma um, there's an authenticity to sauce um, you know his his energy is infectious. Uh, his the, the way he uh, the way he competes, the way he talks trash, the way he it's it's infectious and, and it's from a it's from a good place, and uh, he just wants to get better, but he also wants to get you better, and uh, I think I think that's uh, that's why you may hear people say hey we gravitate or it's that charisma it's that it's that everything it's that charisma that competitiveness that authenticity that he brings. Um, and his instincts and to go along with his unbelievable skill set and his height and length and speed. So, um, you know, we're very fortunate to have him. What about Garrett? Soft spoken, but he's got a big game. Yeah, you know, Garrett, Garrett from day one, you know, it, it's, uh, it's never been too big for Garrett, you know, um, starting with the, the first shootout in the locker room. I think he hit every, every free throw shot you know, in front of all of his teammates. So I, I thought that was impressive, great composure. He's quiet confidence. You know, I feel like he's, he's mature beyond his age. Um, and then on top of that, you know, his approach, his, his confidence, his competitive nature, uh, the exuberance, the, the fun that he has playing football. It, it, it's really fun to see him and Sauce go up against each other. And, uh, you know, the, the talk that goes back and forth there. But then, then to also see his natural, unbelievable athletic ability come out when he's running routes, when he's catching the ball, when he's adjusting. Um, so he's a, he's a supreme athlete. Zach Wilson, they struggled against the Patriots, but he's 4-1 and one as a starter here in his second year. Where is he at in his development right now? Yeah, look, I mean, obviously Zach would, I'm sure he would tell you that he, he wished he could have a few of those throws back from the, from the New England game. But again, you hit on it. Um, you know, as a team, we're 4-1 and one since Zach came back. You know, and that's that's a credit to him and the team. But um, you know, there's there's a lot of football to be played, and uh, you, know, you you ha you do see progress in, in Zach, and um, you know he he 100 percent is our quarterback. And um, again, love his love his mentality, love his approach to the game, uh, love the way that he attacks every day, and so he's going to continue to get better. Uh, it's not not to say that there there won't be ups and downs like there is with any young player but he's going to continue to get better and we're very confident in Zach. Let's end here. The Buffalo Bills, is this a measuring stick game for the New York Jets? Look, it's a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity to um, compete against last year's division champion. 
um, here in MetLife Stadium. We know it's going to be a great atmosphere. We know the crowd's going to be rocking. Um, it's just it's it's a it's another opportunity for us to go and try to uh, try to uh, win a big divisional game at home in front of our fans.